Is Apple coming after crypto? MetaMask is in hot water, Citizen Conflict dropped some pretty big news, and Animoca Brands is back at it again, launching a game on Flow Blockchain. What's up gamers, my name's Mike and I'm your host here at Fungible Games. We've got an exciting one for you today. We've got some MetaMask news as well as some gaming dives. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Did Apple just do an attack on crypto? Well, MetaMask has temporarily been removed from the App Store, raising concerns about its antitrust behavior. Well, first off, MetaMask wants to assure its users that since it's been off the App Store on October 14th, it's not because of any malicious intent or phishing scams that are happening from the app itself, but it is instead coming from Apple themselves for antitrust issues. But coming up from this conflict is a much needed debate where we need to figure out where we can go with this antitrust movement. We need to have discussions with the market itself. So in this example, CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, is taking it upon himself to make this a bigger issue. And his goal is to bring awareness around this issue so people understand what it is. And eventually for him, he thinks we'll have much more competitive markets, which will be better for consumers. And at the same time, Antoli Yakovenko, co-founder of Solana, is also bringing this up, stressing that we need to have more than just the app app store available for these type of phones. So we know that they're coming up with the Solana phone and the Solana app store. So they're pushing that we can't just rely on the Apple app store and all its strict rules, which would be nice if there was more options. But at the very least, it seems like this is becoming an opportunity that we didn't expect, but one where we can now get the conversation going and get people more aware of these antitrust laws, as well as discussing if companies like Apple should have the right to have such a monopoly over an app store. And next up, we've got some exciting news from one of our favorite shooters, Citizen Conflict, and their new NFT giveaway. Citizen Conflict is a free shooting game that combines the excitement of competitive esports modes with a massive open world map. In the game, you'll find an engaging story with three rival groups. There's interesting heroes battling for control, along with a futuristic setting with lots of cool vehicles, aircrafts, and weapons. For this NFT giveaway, IQ Protocol is teaming up with Citizen Conflict. A total of five 501 Citizen Conflict NFTs are up for grabs with their value being over $1,000. And you can join this raffle between now and October 31st at 3 p.m. UTC. And in that time, make sure you join the IQ protocol on Discord because after the 31st, that's where they're gonna be announcing their winners. They're doing this giveaway because they want you to have the experience of going over to the IQ market and testing out rentals. And how you get an entry with this rental competition is for each NFT that you rent for one hour, you'll get an entry into this raffle. But the best part about this for us is there's no cost in the rental. They just want us to test everything out. And as a reward, you get that entry into the raffle, like we said. So every hour you can switch it up, but each wallet can only gain one ticket per hour. With the proven success of Animoca brands, anytime they do anything in crypto gaming, you should be paying attention. And this time is no different as they announced the game Formula E High Voltage. The game launched on October 19th. It's of course a racing game and it was created by Animoca brands and Am Remember. It's unique because it uses NFTs as in-game items, connecting racing and gaming enthusiasts. NFTs unlock over 100 skills, enhancing gameplay as you collect, train, and upgrade. Play as racing icons like Jake Dennis and drive the Gen 3 electric car. You can enjoy racing circuits in cities like London, Berlin, Rome, and New York, all powered by the eco-friendly Flow blockchain. They are offering four complimentary NFTs on entry with the option to buy more using Rev or Fiat. So make sure you go check out Formula E High Voltage and then after you play the game we'd really appreciate it if you come on back to fungible.games and leave your honest review. For now though that brings us to the end of this news video. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on that bell notification and we'll see you on the battlefield.